This video is transitioning requires letting go. So for a really long time in my early transition, I was just waiting for hormones to kind of take effect and make me into a woman and all of a sudden all of my, all of my problems would be solved once my body matched who I was, right? But the thing is, your brain has to go through just as significant of a change as your body. For me, I know that letting go of some of my old habits that weren't necessarily things that made me feel like I am being fulfilled and I'm fulfilling my, my time here, like I'm enjoying my time here, but more importantly, I, I had so much behavior that had been built on trauma and fitting in and, you know, being what other people wanted me to be, that trying to piece together what I really liked and what I didn't and what served me and my journey was a really hard process. I think that for a lot of people, we don't want to admit that parts of us are harming us and that some of the things that we love the most can be really bad for us. I think fast food. You know, I think everyone in our generation grew up on McDonald's in some way, shape and form, but none of us can really deny that it's not something good, something healthy something that your body craves, you know, in a good way, you know, it can be very addicting. Um, and there are lots of people who will still defend McDonald's to this day, but nutritionally, there's just no substance there. And I think a lot of us have a lot of things in our life that they may be enjoyable, they may be things we like, but they don't provide any nutrition for our soul. I know me, myself, I had a lot of things that, you know, they made me feel strong and powerful and confident, but at the same time, they came at the expense of my, my peace and my anxiety and my own mental well-being. And, you know, just for an instance, for my example, for my own journey, you know, I played a lot of violent video games for a really long time. I grew up playing you know, Halo and all these different shooter games and I was good at it and I mistook being good at it for enjoying it because I would get a lot of praise, people would hang out with me, people would want to be around me online because I was good at these games. And it took a really long time for me to separate what people thought I was good at from what I actually enjoyed. And there has been a lot in my transition. If I hadn't been willing to be really bad at things and to try things that I really had no experience in and just let myself struggle, I never would have gotten to where I wanted to be. And there are so many things that I think we feel like they're so unobtainable. We feel like you know, we can never do them well, so why even try? That we really limit ourselves and we keep ourselves stuck in this place of, you know, living out these habits that only kind of make us feel all right. Like, they're getting us through, we're surviving, but we're not thriving, we're not feeling good, we're not feeling happy, and we're not feeling joy in our lives. And it's so important to feel joy in your life and to enjoy the things that you're doing that I think if you're not making time to prioritize that, to think about what you can do in your life to bring you more joy, you're missing out on a huge thing. I, I just really, I've been getting the theme in my life that if you make easy decisions, you're gonna have a hard life. If you make the things that, you know, they're just the easiest, like they, it's whatever comes to you, you're kind of at the wheel of life. And sometimes it works out, but sometimes it really doesn't. And you can really, 
just, you know, get caught up in just letting life run its course. You know, for instance, if you just stay at home and sleep all day, like, yeah, that's the easiest thing, that's the most comfortable thing you can do, but you're not going to get anything that you want out of your life. And there are so many things that we do that we're just doing the easy thing that we're used to. And I just, I don't see a lot of people talking about that. And I've had to make some really hard changes for myself lately, but they've been so incredibly worth it. And I've been so happy with who I am and what I'm doing that it's, it doesn't feel like work a lot of the time. Like sometimes it's really hard. Don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, but I enjoy it on most days. And that's cool to me. I just, I'm really grateful for that because I didn't have that for a really long time. So thank you for watching. I hope this helps someone out there who is struggling and maybe feeling like they want to make some changes that are hard or scary. Um, you can do it. It's okay to be bad at something for a little bit. And that's the first step towards growing. All change is uncomfortable because we don't like change as people. We want things to stay the same. But all things will change inevitably. And if you don't take control of that change, if you don't guide the direction of your life, you're going to be left at the mystery or at the hands of fate. And I don't think most people want that. Some people might, but it's a lot more fulfilling when you're getting the things that you work for. So until next time, this has been another amazing video. Thank you for joining me. Please leave any comments um, about topics that you might be interested in um, for future videos in the comments below. I am always looking for feedback and I'm thinking about doing some tarot reading soon. So stay tuned for that. But until then, I will see y'all next time. Much love always.